Hey everybody, thanks for joining and tuning in. So I was recently asked by one of the members of the group, what are all these stickies and notes and other things on my wall? And I do get that question on occasion and I do some videos up in the front desk in my apartment here with the wall in the background and I've probably been asked that six, seven times in the last few months. So I thought I would do a video share about what some of this is and make a suggestion or two that you might find uh, useful. So what happens or what I do is every time I'm reading or listening to a podcast or an interview or a talk or whatnot online, uh, I typically make notes, which I'm sure a lot of us do. And a trick that I found earlier this year, and I used to do this way back in the day, but not nearly as much, but I definitely make use of it now, is instead of just making notes in a notepad or, notepad or a journal, is I make them on stickies. If there's something, a nugget of wisdom, a quote, a saying, or a piece of information that I really like, am drawn to, and know I want to embed into my life, use, learn, uh, I put it on a sticky and I put it on my wall because that way I see it. So instead of it being in a closed book or journal, and those are great too, and for those of you who journal, you know all the benefits of that. Um, and it really helps to write things out and write our thoughts out and things that we learn. But I love having this all out in full display, a lot of the things that I write down uh, for two reasons. One is the visibility that I get to see it every day. And just even for a glance, you know, or a glance in passing, if I take a look at it and you do that over time, time, time after time, over a few weeks, over a few months, a lot of these go back months to earlier this year. Some of the more recent ones are down here at the bottom. Uh, it just gets embedded into your head and you think about them more. And the other thing I do is when I get stuck or I'm trying to think of um, some new content or some information that I want to work on for either my program or myself, all I do is I come and take a glance at two or three of these and without fail, I'm not exaggerating, without fail, I will get a new idea of something that I need to either learn more about or share with others from all this information on my wall. So just to give you an example, um, there's some that are a little bit more meaty than others, but really, again, these are nuggets, thoughts, and pieces of information and wisdom that I want to learn about, think about more often, and, and just um, and share, share with others. So for example, uh, show up, be you, don't give others a chance to define. So showing up and being yourself, not giving others a chance to judge you, that's big. Speak up, work somewhere where your voice is heard, you know, talking about career and uh, our employers and, and fulfillment and whatnot. Being able to work somewhere where our voices are heard and acknowledged and appreciated. Fulfillment over achievement, uh, doing things that matter, uh, work that matters and makes an impact versus just achievement and awards and certificates. Those are good. Those have a place, but um, we want to focus on more meaningful stuff. There's a lot of information here around emotional intelligence, uh, leading yourself, focusing on solutions and strengths, always important. Uh, take action, going for it. It silences the fear, absolutely. I'm a big believer in that one. So as small as some of these phrases are, take action, just go for it. It silences the fear. I remember reading about that, that, that once we propel ourselves and put ourselves in motion and we're doing, it starts to naturally curb a lot of that fear that we might have. Leadership equals service. Of course, big believer in that, serving and helping others. Don't give up your power. We have more power than we even realize at times. I mean, the list goes on. Being objective. I'm going to do a video, and I want to talk about this one soon, probably in the coming weeks. Being object objective and how important it is to look at the interest and to take into consideration the interests and thoughts and beliefs of other people. And then I have some, you know, some bigger pieces of paper with more expansive notes on, um, on uh, you know, for example, takeaways. This one is about takeaways that I've learned to keep in mind with millennials. I know you can't see this up close. Uh, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of Tim Ferriss's podcast, and this is a number of takeaways and lessons from uh, Tim Ferriss and his podcasts and books the last couple of years. And uh, the list goes on. And let me just, I don't have a selfie stick, but I have this up on the tripod. Let me just show you over here too. On this wall, I have a number of uh, bigger, you know, sheets of paper with more expansive notes. Over here, I write down ideas for stories that I can do in talks or workshops, um, other ideas of subjects I want to cover, uh, steps in, in development. Um, I have a list there. Again, I know you can't see this, but how to make ourselves more memorable when we're meeting people. 
And, uh, you know, the more, more stickies over here, a lot of the stuff over here are, are people and things I need to follow up with. And lastly, over on my staircase up here, and I have, uh, so when I started teaching the lead early this year, I came up with 12 principles around leading ourselves and how to lead ourselves better each and every day. And this is a compilation of the 12 most important principles that I feel most impact and impact in my life and that I feel are most critical to become better leaders of ourselves. So it talks about everything. I start with learning and growth. That's number one, always important. Being authentic, a principle number two focuses around emotional intelligence, and there's a lot of subcategories there like empathy and self-awareness that are, that are really important. Persistence, uh, courage, I talk a lot about courage and having the courage to make tough decisions. Twelve principles, so I, these I did a while ago, I did these months ago, and I wrote them down, I wrote them out, I, I have them written down in multiple places, but I decided to write them out and put them on my staircase here up in the loft area so that I see them every single day. And I just stop and absorb whatever I can. And same thing with these, with these uh, post-it notes. So, so again, in closing, you know, this works for me. Uh, different you know, tactics and approaches for everybody. But it works, for, works very well for me to be able to see, stop and look at a couple a day. And ingrain them in my head and make sure if I have to do any follow-up or more research on a particular item or just, hey, this is a, a nugget or a piece of wisdom that I want to work on for myself or sharing with an audience or whatever the case might be. So, you know, if this interests you, put things down on sticky notes. Journals and typing in our laptops or on our iPads is great. But I just love being able to have the visibility right there in the open. And if it doesn't work for you to, to stick them on the wall where you live, that's okay. You know what? You can also just put them, put these into, I've done this before, put them into a journal um, or one of those books, composition books, and just paste them in there and just flip through the book every day. That's another thing you do and you don't have to have your walls all cluttered like I do. But anyway, I hope you thought this was a little bit helpful and insightful. And uh, thank you very much for, for listening.